What's up, everybody? This is Bill. Uh, today I'm going to do a review for you. Uh, what I have here is uh, Google TV. I am currently using the original Blu-ray Sony Google set-top box. That's the uh, white one, uh, part number NSZ GT1. Uh, that uses the Sony keyboard remote. You can see how that is. And all this talk about Nexus 7 and Android 4.1.2 coming to the Nexus 7. Uh, all night I was focused on that and trying to figure out if I'm going to get that update or not. Uh, and just let it come over the air. Or if I'm going to do it myself. I haven't received it yet. And while looking at my Nexus 7, uh, my Google TV came up with a message saying that it has an update. So what we're going to look at is uh, Android 3.2 Honeycomb on the Google TV. And we're going to look at all the improvements they've done. So let's get into the video. So if you go to googletv.blogspot.com, I'll leave a link in the description. You can read all about what this update did. So I'm going to read a little bit of it here. Starting today, more of the Google Play experience will come to your Google TV. Google Play movies, TV shows, and music will be rolling out to your Google TV over the next few weeks. You'll be able to buy or rent content directly through Google Play Store on Google TV. And purchases you've made on other devices will also be automatically available on Google TV. Google Play titles will also be discoverable through our TV and Movies app which brings recommendations for shows and movies available on live TV and apps like Netflix, Amazon, and now Google Play. That's what we're going to go over. We're going to check out all the things that updated. All right, so let's check out what's new. First of all, you can see here I'm using my Nexus 7 with uh, Able Remote. Able Remote lets you have access to all of your apps directly from the remote from any Android device. I believe it's running uh, Gingerbread and up. So if you have a device that's Gingerbread and up and you have Google TV, go get Able Remote. There'll be a link in the description. So I can, for instance, click on Pandora and that will open up Pandora up there on the Google TV. So you can see how that works. You have access to all your functions. So access to TV volume, uh, your receiver volume, your Comcast, uh, or your uh, HD TV, whatever it is that you have, uh, whether it's uh, Comcast or Dish, something like that. So that's how Able Remote works. That's what I'll be using to do this. Okay, review. so here we got Google TV running Honeycomb. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into System Settings. We can go, let's see, down here to About. And as you can see right there, firmware version 3.2. And there is the build number. You can pause the video and read off that build number so you can compare your Google TV to see if you're running the same operating system that I'm running right now with the latest update. So the first thing we noticed is right after the update, it opened up the Play Store. The Play Store has changed completely. So let's take a look at the Play Store and you now have a Play Store icon that you can see right here. You have this Play Store uh, widget. So let's go into the Play Store and check out the Play Store. This is supposed to be one of the biggest features that they've updated. So there you can see there, looks similar to what you're probably used to on most of your uh, Android devices. Now we have apps, music, movies, and TV. So you see there it shows all the, all the latest stuff, all the latest apps right here on your home screen of your uh, Google Play. So if we come in here and we go into, let's check out music. So you can see here, this wasn't on here before. The new Google Music, it looks just like what you'd see on any of your Android devices. You can see here you have your headphone icon up here to go directly into Google Play Music. The search icon to search for uh, music. 
you have uh, options right there. So you can go to My Music, so you can see how that looks. They did a really good job on cleaning up Google TV. I was really hoping that Google TV would go a little further than what it did, and now it's looking promising. So you can see again, let me focus that in there. So now you have movies and TV. So let's hop into movies and TV. So you can see here, movies and TV. So now you have, you can go in here to all this. You have all these listings of different movies to watch. You have TV listings over here. You have movie listings here. Up here you have your movie and TV. So now we got this loaded up. You can see your Transformers movie. Last time I watched it, I was on my Nexus 7. So here's, now it's brought to your TV to watch also. See, it started out a little laggy, but it loaded up. Now it looks fine. So you can see how that looks. Pretty nice. And this is on a Sharp Aquas 47 inch TV. I'm just using this Blu ray uh, set top box. So I've got the 7.1 channel surround sound Sony receiver hooked up. So everything is really nice now that you have this feature. Come right here and watch my movies and my TV shows straight from Google. So let's back out of that. Back out of that. Okay, so another thing we're going to go check out will be apps. So let's hop into apps. So you can see how this looks. You got featured. You got games. This is really going to make everything familiar across the board. I mean, if you're like me, I'm using the HTC One S from T-Mobile. I have the Google Nexus 7. And now, and I have Google TV. I was one of the first Google TV owners, and uh, now everything matches up across the board. I really confused me how uh, Google TV was not anything close to being what was on my Nexus 7 or my HTC One S. Now it really has came together. So another thing we're going to look at inside here is uh, we can go to the Flickster app. So you can see here we'll go into the Flickster app. This is from the App Store, and you can see how that looks. So this is completely different than what you've seen on Google TV before. This is part of the big update. Uh, you now have it looking like what would be on your mobile device or your uh, tablet. So you can see how this looks down here. You have your review. You can leave your review, email the developer. You can do all that from right inside here, whereas before this looked completely different. So let's open up the app from the Play Store. Okay, so you can see there, it says, hello, Bill. It's all logged in. So we have my movies here. Now, uh, what they've added to the Flickster app is uh, UV support. So if you have an ultraviolet account, you can link it from your computer with your uh, Flickster. Sign in with Facebook, you'll get a free movie. And you can join up with your UV account. So you can see there, I've purchased 21 Jump Street, and I have the uh, digital copy on my UV account so you can see how this works it's gonna load up and uh, before it said uh, that it was not supported that the film format was not supported so you can see there how that works no lag once it's loaded up it loaded up the whole video pretty awesome I'm really impressed with that so let's back out of that let's back out so that is the new Flickster app, how that looks. Back out. Okay, so now we're at the home okay, screen. Okay, so another thing that I noticed right when it loaded up the uh, new update is that you now have access to better games on the uh, Google TV. So it came preloaded with Greedy Spiders 2. I'll leave a link in the description for you to go download this game. It's available on mobile and uh, tablets also. So you can see how that looks. 
Now, this is absolutely uh, amazing for Google TV. If you've played some of the other games on Google TV and seen how they were, uh, you would understand what I mean. So. We can play some Greedy Spiders. This is Greedy Spiders 2. So you can see here, you can pick your level. You can see up there in the corner, it says uh, full version. So again, using Able Remote, you have access to all your controls, so you can just use your mouse pad and tap to get rid of stuff. So our job here is to get rid of this spider and make him so he doesn't go get these guys. So you can see there, now the bugs are free from the spider. Get three stars. So you can see how that works. And you can see how quick it loads and everything. The Google TV, this new update, actually speeded things up quite a bit. So we can go cut these. You can see there, bugs are going to leave, job well done, probably didn't get three stars. So anyway, uh, that is Greedy Spiders 2 on the Google TV. It came free of charge with so you the can update see, for Honeycomb 3.2. Obviously what the updates did for Google TV, this was a really big update. Uh, one thing I'm hoping they're coming back with, I'll show you here if I hit menu and you go to home and all app settings okay now right here you have wallpaper I'm hoping that they will put a lot more live wallpapers stuff like that again it's not a necessity but it is something that people like to use so you can see I have them using that bullet one right now you can see that back there and then another thing is if we go to customize home items okay and then you click right here where it says add widget down here in the left hand bottom corner add widget you'll see I got my Play Store widget which is improved analog clock equalizer and these are all apps you can download uh, equalizer basically I use that for when I'm watching the surround sound you have an equalizer which the Sony receiver just has bass and treble and mid so then you go over here, you have Pandora, you have Twitter, no Google Music. I hope you all are seeing that. I hope you all will uh, post it on Google+, Plus, post it everywhere you can, call Google, ask them what's going on. Um, Google tends to respond to uh, people in general, but the Google Music icon has been gone for about a month now. The Google Music widget. And I use that on a daily basis. So now I will demonstrate what happens. You have no Google Music widget. So if you are in Google Music, let it load up the Google Music. We hope. There it goes. Okay, so now we'll click on songs. Remember, I have about 9,000 songs in the cloud, so. It takes a minute to load up. So, if we play a song, I'm not going to cut the video and demonstrate that uh, Google TV is quick because quite literally you can see how long it's taking to load up a song. Again, this is all in real time. I'll show you exactly why you need a widget on Google TV for Google Music. So you can see there, I got my music playing. Let's jam out a little bit. Now, 
If we hit the back arrow, if we hit the back arrow and we back out of Google Music, oh, we get several of these. We're going to go with weight. Again, I really hope that Google uh, pays attention to this, pays attention to what the people want, because you can see there in the video, two forced clothes on Google Music. So we can go forced clothes. You can see there, Google Music playing in the background, and no option for play, pause, that kind of thing. You have to use your controller to do that. So you can see here, I've got the Sony remote. So you can see here, Sony remote, pause, music paused, play, music play. Now maybe that's why they think that it doesn't need a widget, but I really like being able to see the title, the song that's playing, and having that widget support. Track forward, you see what that did, it just skipped a track forward. Then it actually worked. So, again, it's not perfect. Having the widget would be nice, but I agree with the update for the Honeycomb 3.2. Big update for Google TV. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you subscribe. Have a great day. Leave your comments in the comment section. And I do respond to my YouTube videos' comments. Unlike some people out there. Hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to share it with your friends. What's up everybody? This is Bill. Uh, I'm glad you are subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, continue to watch my videos. Uploading new stuff every couple days. I find all kinds of stuff to upload. I try to keep YouTube busy. Uh, if you want to follow me, you can find me uh, right over there on Instagram. Uh, you can follow me right up that way on Twitter and right over there on Facebook. And I'm also on Google Plus right there. Anyways, hope you continue to watch my videos. Uh, go ahead and give me the like button. Give me the thumbs up. Uh, hit that plus one button down there. And uh, make sure you read my description. I try to keep important information down there. Anyways, stay tuned for more videos. Deuces. Thanks for subscribing.